No! Beautiful. I don't consider myself an influencer anymore. Sure. So my mom was like, can we not do it on your phone? Because it's like really gross. And I have some interesting stuff to ask you. Yeah, you got some problems. <laughs> what if she gets famous? I don't want it to get on her phone. I want it to be on my phone. Wow. You can't really show your true emotions. <clears throat> when? <laughs> my mom was like, frick Dora. That's insane. Imagine I just came up and just shot your dad. If you don't want to share it, that's fine. But... Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm trying something special for you guys. Let me know if you like it. Today we have influencer extraordinaire. No! You I don't consider myself an influencer anymore. Do you not watch my YouTube videos? Most beautiful woman in the world, my girlfriend, Piper. Stop guys, stop, stop. <laughs> Alright Piper, I have a couple questions for you that people want to know. And I have some interesting stuff to ask you. Are you ready? <laughs> we have a show tonight. Yeah. Our third last show. So after this show, we only have two more. And then after the next one, we only have one more. Mm. And then none. Now you started, you started with Musical.ly, right? Uh, yes, yes. So talk about how, how you started. Okay, so I was at a pageant when I was like seven and a half. And my friend was like, can we do a Musical.ly? And I was like, sure, whatever. And she asked my mom to film it for her. And my mom held her phone and there was like, cause at pageants, like you're in this room and it's called like the ballroom that you get ready in. And everyone gets ready in there. And there's just hairspray constantly like spraying. So it gets on your phone and it leaves this like really gross feeling. Mm -hmm. So my mom was like, can we not do it on your phone? Cause it's like really gross or go get something to wipe it. And she didn't want to go wipe it. So my mom was like, okay, it's okay. I'll just do it on Piper's phone. And she said, no, because what if she gets famous? I don't want it to get on her phone. I want it to be on my phone. <laughs> and my mom was like, okay. So we ended up not even doing that TikTok. But then we got in the car and she was like, what is this about like getting famous and stuff? And we just kind of just started from there. And that's kind of it, man. Mm hmm Okay. How did that make you feel that your friend was like, I don't want you to be friends? Well, we were kind of frenemies, like, the whole, like, any time of us being friends. We were always, like, very, very, like, our, either our moms were, like, you know, like, they weren't getting along or we weren't getting along. It was just, like, we were always just competing with each other. Deep. And we looked a lot, a lot alike, and, like, that's not good in pageants. So, like, it, it was just a... Do you feel like you have, you make a lot of frenemies or more friends? A lot of frenemies. Frenemies? Yeah. Because, like, unfortunately in this world, you kind of have to be, like, in a way, like, you, you know, you can't really show your true emotions to a lot of people. Well, in the pageant world, it's nothing but competition. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, but you're going there. You're signing yourself up for it. You know what I mean? Okay, so you start on Musical.ly, and then talk about how you transitioned into YouTube. Um, well, I loved watching, like, oh, Curry Swirl C and stuff like that. Who? Cookie Swirl C? Who's that? You don't know that? Uh -uh. This is a girl that she like never showed her face, but she just like talked. What did she do? And she would be like, she had this like voice and she would like show stuff or like play with her toys together. And I just thought it was like so cool. Uh -huh. So then um, I would make my mom go buy a bunch of toys with me and I would like make her film me while I'm opening them. And then my mom was like, why don't we just start posting them? And I was like, okay. Continue, excuse me. So you... You got your mom to get you a bunch of toys. Yeah, or like I had some people like send me like squishies and like I was really into squishies. So how did so you I'm already like, get people to send you stuff? Cause I was going on like musically lives and stuff uh -huh. and literally I would be live for like six hours and like people would get to know me and I would just like literally sit there and talk to people. And how old were you at this point? It's like eight or nine. Okay, so eight and nine. Doing Musical.ly lives. Doing Musical.ly lives at like 3 a.m. 3 a.m. It was a life. And then my mom and I would like, we would like work really hard. And then after our lives at like 3 a.m. We would like eat cereal. It's like what I remember. Mmm. Because it was like too like, now, what, what, you're not going to eat what breakfast. What kind of cereal? Three. Mm, we would either have like Lucky Charms. Uh -huh. Or like we always, uh -huh. there was a moment in my life where we would always like every single night. My mom says she gained a lot of weight for some reason, but you know I was a kid. We would literally have chocolate ice cream with chocolate sprinkles for like months. Straight. Now was that like a reward that nah, you did something? No, that was just like I think we just like did that for fun. Every day. Every day. Wow. When? Like in the I beginning know, of the day? At the end of the day? At the end of the day, we would sit and watch TV. Okay, so that that's cool. You yeah. have little bonding and of course, watch yeah. TV. What's your favorite show? Uh, we like to watch Shameless a lot. 
How old are you? Very young. <laughs> That's crazy. I used to watch Adventure Time and regular shows. Oh, yeah, SpongeBob. Like SpongeBob. If you would have watched that with me. Now, okay, now I want you to tell the people that you have a beef with Dora oh. because of SpongeBob. Frick, Dora. Why? Because I remember this specific but moment. She she like explores stuff. And she is just too much. Like I don't want to come exploring with you. She's not teaching me anything. Like I'm not watching. I don't want to watch a show and be taught something. If I'm watching a show, I'm watching a show. It's like eating a cookie. I'm not gonna eat a healthy cookie. Why not just eat a cookie? Because either way, it's a cookie. Like why? Okay, I got really flustered. Okay, okay. I I see this is a very. You met uh, boots though. You met boots like. I a flying frick that I met boot, boots. Well, I'm telling, I'm telling him that you said. Tell that. him. All right, but listen, I was watching a video on YouTube, and it was of like I don't know how, because I guess I was just watching SpongeBob things, and SpongeBob was on YouTube, and then all of a sudden I just remember it was like a white background, it was just SpongeBob, and then all of a sudden a door comes in with a gun and literally shoots SpongeBob. I was forever just did not like her. How wow. Could he how could she betray me like that? Wow, that's that's insane. Um, then you just hated hated Dora because of that. It's a really valid reason to hate Dora. Is it? Is it? I mean, if you don't hate Dora, I think that's your problem. Imagine I just came up and just sh shot your dad. I mean, I feel like I was kind of had a crush on Dora. I don't know. Yeah, you got some problems. <laughs> I feel like. She's just so small, I could like pick her up and throw her around and... All right, next question. What's the most important thing to you right now? The most important thing to me right now is probably staying true to myself and you know, making sure that I remind myself that life is important and that taking care of people is important and that you know, your family is important. Mm -hmm. And don't take things for granted is very important because we take everyday things for granted and yeah. now do you have like a goal where like i want to buy my mom a car or i want to buy that's something the thing like, like that. when i was younger i had a lot of goals like i literally always had a goal to go to i mm -hmm. would either like my goal would be like i want a new pair of shoes or i want a bird i want a turtle i want a cat i got all of those goals um, I don't think that seems like goals. That just seems like begging your no, mom to no, buy no. something. No, no, no. It would be like you. it would be like okay, like you're gonna like my goal. <coughs> if I hit like this, I can get a bird. You know what I mean? And that's mm. what I did, and that's what was like one of my big goals. I but used to, I used to have that when I would do dance competitions. I would have if I would get first place, I'd get a Lego set mm -hmm. every time. And so yeah, I had those. But nowadays, I really don't have a goal. Um, which I mean, it's sad and also like, you know, it just makes you realize like you don't really need to have a goal. Life isn't always going to be exciting. You don't always need something to look forward to because, you know, life is unfortunately kind of just boring within itself. <laughs> Damn, that's such a... That's cold. That's just, like, it is. I mean, life is just like a constant repeat of the same same thing. But I mean, like that's... You, but I in, in yourself, but... that's where you change it or you make it more fun or, you know. I have a question for you. Now, if you don't want to share it, that's fine. But have you ever come in contact with aliens or extraterrestrial <laughs> beings? Yes. Uh, yes? <laughs> yes. Imagine she's the one that like asked. Uh, yes. He, I told you that. I told you. Yeah, he, you did tell I me told that. Him. I told him. I don't, I don't, but I don't it's know. something that I don't like to tell a lot of people. Cause they don't believe me, and you know. So do you don't you don't want to say it? Just yes. give like a little vague. Okay, well, I was probably around five or four. Okay. So at the age where you really don't know if a piece of Stop, chocolate. Stop! You're is the people that I don't want. To. <laughs> Literally, the reason why I don't tell the story is because you people. People like you. Bro, at f I don't remember shit when I was five. At that, a really important shit? If you saw a freaking alien, you would probably know? You just started reciting all the vowels in the alphabet. I, 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 I just remember my family, like it was my house, my aunt, my grandma, and my mom. They were all in my grandma's room. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, they were like, like, we might have been, like, playing a game of hide-and-seek or something, but, like, I wasn't allowed to go in the room for some reason. So then I was like, okay. Okay. So I'm going to go pee. 
Wait, let me so, wait. Your aunt, your grandma, and your mom were playing hide and seek, but you couldn't go in her room. I don't know what it was. Like they were saying something about the boogeyman or something. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. So then, like, I I didn't go in there. So then I just turned and I went down my hallway, and I turned into my bathroom, and I pulled back my curtains, and there was three things there. There was a tall one in the middle, a short one right here, and then an even shorter one like right here. Okay, and how, how did they look? The only way I can put it is like E.T. Like a dried up raisin. And, uh, okay. So you see three aliens in front of you, or a, or whatever it could be. They're all kind of like, like yeah. And yeah. what were they doing? <laughs> they just having a... <laughs> they were just standing there. <laughs> they were just standing there. So what did you do? Did you scream? Like uh -uh. what? Why did you open the curtain in the first place? Keep going. That's all. What happened? Yeah, what like they happened? disappear? I like just was like, okay. And then I went, I told like everyone that there's aliens in my bathroom. And? They were like, no, there's not. And then did you go back? I don't remember. See, I don't remember everything, but it's pretty important that I remember. Did they look like the aliens from like the the New Mexico? They didn't look like aliens. They looked like they looked like ET, like very. ET's an alien. Like, yeah, no, but the face. This is my YouTube video. Let me talk. <laughs> Damn. It's your podcast. What do you do on podcasts? So, you see, three little shriveled up ETs. Mm -hmm. One tall one. Yeah. Two little ones. Were they babies? I didn't ask them. Okay. <laughs> I just, I just, because I just want to understand. Um, okay, you were five years old. I was somewhere in there. Somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So somewhere in there between five and five and a half. Yep. Okay. Uh, you go and you see aliens. Yeah. I don't know what, this is what I'm trying to say. Nobody believes me. I mean, I, I believe you. But like, I'm also not out here bragging that I've, oh, I saw aliens. You know what I mean? I don't want to make people upset. I mean, damn, I'd love to see some aliens. Who knows? They might not even be aliens, but they were monsters of some sort. You know, one time I, uh, I was outside of my house and uh, I was standing there with my brother and my dad and we just see like a big UFO. Or, or something that looked like a UFO and this was right at the time of when everyone was like oh the aliens like all that stuff and then we see that and I'm like is is that a UFO I was like damn that's crazy but it turns out it was like a comet or something or like the SpaceX launch I don't know it, I, yeah yeah one of my one of my buddies uh, messaged me on Instagram he was like yeah, man, that's not a UFO, that's a comet. Because I posted it on my story. I was like, UFO! <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it didn't really work out. No, that's okay. Okay, now, what is one thing that you would, um, tell your fans to live their lives by? Staying true them to themselves and mm -hmm. not trying to be like other people because I really did there was a, I know there's probably a point in everybody's life but there was a point in my life where all I wanted to do was just be like everyone else and like look like everyone else and wear what everyone else was wearing do and you just think try to fit in as much as I possibly could but in me trying to fit in it was just making myself feel more lost and lost and lost like the more you keep pushing yourself down like the more you're gonna feel lost do you think that's because um of the place you were at, like in LA? No, I mean, it was probably because of like other people. And it's not their you. fault at all. But it's my, you know, just, it's not my fault. I mean, it's not their fault at all. It's like my fault in a way, but still like, you know, I just don't, I hate how I felt. So I wouldn't want anyone else to feel like that. Mm -hmm. So just keep staying true to yourself. If you don't want to, do your hair every single day. If you don't want to do this every single day, if you don't want to act like this or be a certain way towards that person or just do what makes you feel happy. And like, even if other people tell you like you shouldn't do that or you know, it's not nice to do that or blah, 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 blah. Like just do what makes you feel good. Do what makes you feel the most comfortable to where you can lay down in your bed and feel 
calm and at ease with yourself. All right. Well, you heard it here, folks. You heard a few folks. <laughs> you heard it here first, guys. If you want to do something, do it. If you don't want to do something, don't do it. But what if you don't want to go to school? Then graduate early. Or don't go to school because, you know, some people. Uh, okay. no, 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 no. We're going to cut you off. Yeah, guys, say You know those stories where right people here. were like, I was supposed to be on that plane and that plane got crashed? Oh, we're going to cut you off right here. Thank so you so Sundays, much for watching, guys. If you guys enjoyed this, leave a like down below. Comment if you want part two. Who are, who are you going to have next? It ain't going to be me. Maybe you help Dora. Dora the Explorer. Yo, Lev, Lev trying to hook up with Dora, Piper. I'll watch out for that. Hola. Oh, yeah, trying so, to explore wait. her body. Hola. Mm -hmm. Oya, so Doya. All right, we love you guys. Bye. <sighs> Bye. Adios. Awesome. Adiós, amigos.